This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. The red pill is bigger than just like picking up girls and that's like the mistake that a lot of people make and that's why they always call me misogynist incel. The red pill is realizing what they're doing. They're brainwashing you. They're trying to separate gender. They're trying to take as much power as possible. They want to censor actual information. They don't want you to know the truth. They want to dumb you down. They want you to watch James Charles and Lil Nas X twerking. They want you to get distracted. They want you to sit there and look at prawn. And they don't want you to read any of this. They don't want you to know about Julian Assange. They don't want you to know about WikiLeaks. This is what's really happening. The pandemic is coming back. They're going to tell you to inject another thing. They're going to tell you to quarantine again. They're going to tell you to scan your head when you walk into a grocery store. They're going to tell you to triple mask and you're all going to do it again. Unless we start having conversations like this and they're difficult to have because they censor it. Ultimately, this is what the red pill really is. And I, I say this all the time. It's not it's not women. It's not women. Women just fall victim to it more often than not. They don't even see how it is. They think they're in power, but they're really just acting like men and they're unhappy. They're living in an ego trip. The red pill is realizing that power is what runs the world. Power is what everybody's seeking after. Every conversation you have, every business meeting, every new relationship you get into, anybody you meet, everybody's looking for their own little dose of power. Once you realize that, then you realize the truth and everything starts to make sense and fall in line. Oh, these people that have all this money don't give a fuck about me. Good job on taking the red pill and vomiting the blue pill. Since you're new in the red pill community, I'm going to go over five red pill truths you must know to be able to succeed with women in life. Number one, she is not yours. It is just your turn. I'm aware that this might offend a few of you, but if you think about it, the remark has some truth. And there's a good reason why it's become so well-liked among red pill men. All relationships, whether monogamous or not, statistically have a high likelihood of ending. The only thing left to do is to essentially relish the experience for whatever long it may last and cherish your time spent together. Because she might get tired of you, for whatever reason, and leave you for a better choice. We've all experienced situations where things become monotonous and she begins to behave differently. You suddenly feel like you had her. And then, in a split second, she is gone. Number 2. Changing a promiscuous woman is impossible. An unfaithful girl cannot be changed into a housewife. The most important guideline, in this case, is to avoid dunning your superhero costume and saving these girls, since they might try to trick you into thinking they've undergone a change, and it will annoy you every time they get the opportunity to act promiscuously. There are a few red flags for promiscuous women that you can actually look out for, but you shouldn't even bother to look out for them in the first place. You should also never enter a relationship with a promiscuous woman. For example, if your friends are telling you that she's been in and out of the block, you shouldn't enter a relationship with that kind of woman. Keep in mind that you cannot turn a hoe into a housewife. And if you do, you'll discover this the hard way. Only accept women who don't send you those signs. Number 3. You're the catch. Any woman you are seeing must believe that you are the prize. According to many dating norms, and what I've observed, women put themselves in the apex and sort of devalue males, particularly if they believe the guys don't measure up to them, financially or in terms of status. And that is the main reason why women tend to date higher and men tend to date lower in the dating dynamics. Therefore, regardless of the situation, you should always understand that you're the prize. You already know that she isn't going to be the one for you if she doesn't act like you're the prize, like acting like you should place her on a pedestal or having you chase after her. It all comes down to taking the red pill for self-improvement and becoming the best version of yourself. You, therefore, have no choice but to be the prize in the end. Show a woman the door if she doesn't treat you like the prize. 
Men, you need to elevate yourself and strive to be the best version of yourself. Number four, when she says he's just a friend, he's not just a friend. This is something I have long known about. In reality, a man and a woman cannot be just friends. There are some situations in which they can, but generally speaking, 90% of the time, either the guy has already smashed and they are now friends, or the guy wants to be more than friends with her. So he's just playing the friend position and waiting for the right time to slide in when she is most vulnerable. I believe that a guy and a woman can only be real friends if their interactions are work-related. If a girl tells you she only goes out with men or has a lot of male friends, let it raise a warning signal for you. Number 5. The red pill doesn't only apply to females. I know that we discussed the nature of women a lot. However, what I've learned about the red pill phenomenon and realized the underlying nature of things is that it's actually human nature, not just female nature. Given the correct circumstances, men do behave in a manner similar to some of the traits I've mentioned. The media has missled us over the years, which is why it's so pervasive among women. Our civilization has been indoctrinated. That's all for today, guys. If you found value in this video, don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button to get more dope content like this every day. Till next time.